Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of this amazing series and uh, we're just continuing on from what we did last episode and trying to just create new decks, test them out. Uh, last episode we did, we did get a convincing win with the Beast Hunter, uh, but this episode we're going to take this Shaman deck out for a spin and hopefully maybe get into the 19th rank because we haven't yet. We've been in this 20th rank for quite a while. We haven't been able to get out of it. Uh, but technically we haven't tried too much because we, we did have the arena run which was nine games long since we went six and three. But I am sad that we're stopping arena for now just for this gold so we can hoard some gold. But we are going to go up against Logan H, the main. You asked for it. For Doomhammer. Mm, going first... I don't like any of these cards, actually. Let's see if we can get some more early game here. Okay. That's okay. I don't like Windspeaker right now. But Acidic Swamp is an Unbound un Elemental. That, that's, that's good for me. Even though the Mage doesn't have any weapons, I think the Acidic Swamp Ooze will still be just a normal 3-2-3. Three, three. And wow, that's some early arcade missiles. Kind of odd. Usually you use it to like take care of an acidic swamp boost or something like that. Uh, but we will drop acidic swamp boost here. And we'll see what he does on turn two. Uh, sorry, last episode, guys, if you couldn't really hear the, the in-game audio too much. I think I, I had some setting on weird. But One shot. He's gonna coin out Elven Witcher and um, Fire Blast. That's not too bad, but definitely not too strong. Not the strongest play. Um, and Elven Archer really isn't that strong of a card. I think this guy must be using a basic mage deck. He's played Elven Archer and Arcane Missiles. Elven Archer, you really don't see that much, but. Next turn with. Uh... That's odd. That is very odd. Uh, he's gonna frost bolt it, okay. It is odd though, man. It's like a mistake of Oracle. Definitely very, very odd. But here we're just going to totem up because Windspeaker isn't too good. I'm happy with the taunt totem. Um, I think we, I think we need to take out one Windspeaker out of this deck because uh, having two of them, it's it's too slow. Oh, raid leader is pretty good with mirror image. Wow. Please, lightning storm. Nope. Uh, but we do get a rock biter weapon. I think we're gonna just we're gonna toss out one wind speaker. And we will kill uh, one of these. He'll probably ping it and kill it with the Grimscale Oracle. But next turn I think we fire elemental and kill the raid leader. I think that's the obvious play. More mirror images, holy cow. And a water alley. Well that's gonna be hexed soon, but not next turn, and he's not going to ping it, he's going to use two, okay, I'm happy with that, but this is, gonna be, this is a very easy uh, fire elemental to kill the raid leader, so then his mirror images are again useless, and his well water played. elemental is, oh thank you for that well play, Acidic right, Swamp Ooze, up and down. Come on, um, what's the, what's the, um, the missiles card that, that's, okay, Fork Lightning's okay, so we're gonna hex this guy. We will, hmm, it's interesting, I could totem and play Forked Lightning. Or, I could play Windspeaker and kill, like, both of these guys. Then he would draw attention from both of his minions, and his deck would be a lot slower. But instead, I'm going to do this, kill this, and then I'll send out four times. See what it kills. Okay, that's actually exactly what I wanted it to hit. That was a really good Forge Lightning, however... We do have an overload of two. That's the only thing I don't like about we must cleanse the sun well. So next turn we will only have six mana. Uh, 
that's an interesting froggy, but... And he will attack directly. Okay, or not directly, but he'll attack the fire ellie. Fire's on Cleric is interesting. Hmm. I think here we are going to Totem and Windspeaker. Let's hope for the Taunt Totem. No, Wrath of Air. Okay, that's going to be useless, but... Hmm. So we're going to do that. We're not just going to this is a good turn trade for him next turn. So instead of playing Windspeaker and giving him Wind Fury, I think I'm gonna send out Shattered Sun. Hmm. Or should I hex his guy? You know what? He's not gonna have that could be a very bad play, but I don't think he's gonna have very many beefy minions that Hex will be more juicy on. Um, I'd rather keep this fire elemental alive. What is he going to do here? He's just going to fireball me directly? Wow. I guess he is going kind of for the kill. Oh, but he'll uh, ping that. Okay. Shattered Sun. Must cleanse the sun well. And then we have a choice here. We could throw down a Frostwolf Warlord, which would be a 7-7. Seven, seven. I kind of like that. Or we could throw down the Wind Speaker and go in for seven, as well as kill the frog and tote him up. I kind of like that because this this um, this will set up a really, really, really good Frostwolf Warlord next turn. Because next turn I could play Shattered Sun Cleric and Frostwolf Warlord. Intellect, he may draw something good. He doesn't have enough mana for a flame strike, which would be kind of brilliant. He's gonna arcane intellect again. And frost. Wow. That was lucky. Oh, and there's the lightning storm, okay. But here we are gonna tote him up and throw down Frost Wolf Warlord. Stand ready! Oh, and we got the zero two, or we got the heal totem, so that's pretty good. But the ten ten crossroad warlord, I'm actually expecting that to be pulling off right now. Flame strike. Well, that'll clear everything except for the crossroad warlord, and then he'll ping the crossroad warlord. Ready for action! And send out the taunts. Um, we don't have a very strong play here. We're just gonna totem, throw down the six one boost. I'm actually assuming that he's he probably has a polymorph for this guy, so I'm actually gonna buff up the acidic swamp. Sun well. This is interesting because I am only down to 12 health, which is very scary. He's at 23. Arcane missiles isn't gonna do much for him. Okay. Grimscale Oracle. So I have 7, 17 damage, 17, almost lethal, wow that is very close. We'll totem, we'll throw, we'll throw the flame tongue here, and then we'll use, hold on, we don't have lethal do we, 7, 9, 21. So no, we'll, we'll just kill, we'll go safer and kill everything here. And then we're gonna get some great value out of this healing token, which will heal three of our characters. So he cannot ping any of them. And I think that's game, unless he. No, there's no way he can. Unless he has another. Yep. Well played. Well played. So our first shaman game is a first shaman game. And we're actually gonna get 10 gold from that win. We can also almost level 11. Uh, we will get level 11 after we play one more, and we also have two quests waiting on Shaman wins. So we're gonna get all, if we win this next game, we're gonna get a lot of gold. I think at least 60. I mean, at least 80. I think 80 exactly. So that'll bring us over 300 coins, which will set us up nicely for the uh, Curse of Naxxramas, the second wing for it. 
Guys, I'm so excited for Crystal Max Ravens. It is going to be incredible. But um, going up against the Warlock, that's interesting. Hot bacon sauce. That is a funny name. Uh, Frost Shock is interesting early on. Hex, I don't like until later. And no much Vector, obviously, until later. Ancestral Healing and Forge Lightning. This is an absolutely horrible hand. Holy cow. Oh, and Lightning Storm. <laughs> well, I definitely want my... Um, why am I forgetting the name of it? The thing that um, gets pumped up when you play overloaded cards. The 1-1, one, one, that's pretty good. I like that. Is this going to be a hand lock? He's going to Mortal Coil. That's pretty good Mortal Coil. So this is looking like a hand lock. Uh, and he's going to coin... Never mind, it's not a hand lock. He's going to coin out a Succubus. Well, that's going to be an easy rock biter weapon. To kill that. And along with rock biter weapons, let's tote him up. Nice, we got the Wrath of Air. That pumps up three things. Frost Shock is two damage and freeze. Fork Lightning is three damage to two enemies. And Lightning Storm is three to four damage to everything. So let's hope he kind of floods the board here. He's going to life tap. Excuse me. Um, Sentient Showmaster is going on the board. Just set up a little bit of a defense with Sentient Showmaster. This is going to be an odd game because none of us, neither of us, I should say, have, has really done anything quite yet. We've both taken a little bit of damage, but no fire is going to be okay for him. But... Soulfire, okay. Let's see what he discards. Soulfire has been good to be in the past. A demon fire. A gold fire, that's scary. I mean, oh, that's a gold common. Wow, that's impressive. So we're just gonna tote him up here. And honestly, do nothing. Um, Wrath of Air is good again. Next turn, we can either Bullyfist Ogre or clear his board with any of our spells. Let's see what he puts down. Summoning portal. That's interesting. Um, let's shattered sun. We must cleanse I really want to kill this because I don't want him getting too much use out of it. So let's use rock biter weapon to clear it out, and then we will totem up. Healing totem. Okay. So he'll go back down to a one three, but he does still have one attack and three health, which is good because these can. Um, be useful a little bit longer. We have a lot of um, board clear in our hand, so hopefully he floods the board here. But we'll see. Demon Fire, he'll kill the Shattered Sun. It's not a very strong use of um, Demon Fire, however. Hellfire! He should have used that originally. He shouldn't have used Demon Fire, because Hellfire would have killed the. Um, the Shattered Sun Cleric, but we are going to uh, send out the Boulder for Stoker, get a beefy minion out there. We do have Flame Tongue Totem, that'll help us push out some more damage later on. Sense Demons, that's probably pretty good for him. Void Walker, okay. What? Okay. And a Flame Imp, wow. Okay, well, Lightning Storm is going to be pretty good here. Uh, Acidic Swamp Booze isn't good, so... I think we, we totem and hope for the Wrath of Air totem, because then it's a for sure kill for the Void Walker. Or not a for sure kill, but a potential kill. Actually, no, I'm not even going to worry about it too much. Well, might as well. Nope. Okay, so we'll send that out. That'll kill everything but the Void Walker. And hopefully we'll do three damage to the Void Walker. No, just two. I was hoping, because then Frost Shock would be able to take it out, but... Unfortunately, but we do have the healing totem, so we'll get healed right back up, and we'll play Acidic Swamp Booze over here, and that'll be pretty good, so he's healed back up to a 6-7. He's at 19 health, we're at 20, but we can push out some crazy damage with this Flame Tongue totem. He's going to life tap. What is he going to do with 6 mana? 
could send out that uh, five mana, five seven charge. He's just gonna drain life with a healing bow. Is that it? No, he'll play a corruption. Okay. That's a well played because I don't have any way of. Um, well, this this could be a strong play. Okay, we're gonna tote him here, and then this Frostwolf Warlord is a seven seven. And then we'll throw all that damage out of him. He's at ten health, so we'll, we'll we will have lethal if he doesn't kill. Oh, well, we almost for sure have lethal if he doesn't if he doesn't kill Frostwolf Warlord, we win. Or if he doesn't taunt or heal himself, I should say. But if he can't do that, then he has to kill Frostwolf Warlord. Drain life isn't going to do enough for him. Let's see what he's got here. I'm glad we got the stone claw. He's going to shadow bolt the stone claw. Well, he did heal himself for two, so actually, he will stay alive. Uh, never mind, Bloodlust is going to allow me to win. There we go. For the I like the sound of that so far. Um, Unbound Elemental, that's what I was thinking about earlier. Finally came to me, but we got the win streak. We are now halfway through the 19th week. We are level 11 with the Shaman, and we got 80 gold from winning two Shaman games. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We are now at 315 gold. We are just grinding for gold now. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.